name's Justin Price, and I'm the creator of the Biomechanics Method, which provides exercise solutions for people in chronic pain. This is another one of my favorite corrective exercises, and it's called Calf Stretch on the BOSU. We're going to stretch both the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscles of the calf in all three planes of motion to help decrease bodily pains. The reason why we're stretching those two calf muscles specifically is the gastrocnemius needs to stretch when the leg is in extension. So when the leg trails behind you when you're walking, you need to be able to straighten the knee and dorsiflex at the ankle. Otherwise what happens is the pelvis tends to rotate, the knee tends to bend, and the torso tends to fall forward. When that happens, people have to cheat with either their lower back or neck to pull themselves upright. If they can straighten the knee, the hips can extend and the spine can be on top of the pelvis. That's for the gastrocnemius. The soleus muscle, when you squat or lunge anytime the knee has to bend forward, the soleus muscle has to lengthen. If it doesn't, then the forces of the squat will get stressed to the knee and stressed to the ankle. Imagine the soleus is a big rubber band that goes from the knee to the ankle. If that rubber band lengthens, then the knee can come forward with the heel, heel staying down without too much stress going to the knee or to the ankle. So if we increase flexibility in that structure, then we're going to be better off when the knee is in flexion. So that's for the soleus. And the gastrocnemius is when the knee is in extension and the hips are in extension. So Ryan, do you mind coming on here and showing this on the BOSU? So Ryan is now pushing down his heel. That is to increase flexibility of the gastrocnemius. His leg is rotated out. If we rotate in, we're now increasing flexibility of the gastroc as we rotate into the transverse plane. Don't bend the knee yet. So if we keep the knee straight, when the leg goes behind you when, the walk, when you walk, the foot continues to pronate, which rotates the leg internally. So we start externally, and then we just rotate the leg in, the heel stays down. Now we're moving the gastrocnemius in the transverse plane, which is what happens as the leg goes behind you when you're walking. Now, the second part of this exercise is start with the leg out and bend the knee right as you come forward. Bend the knee and move it towards the other leg. Beautiful. Now he's getting to his soleus and the foot is pronating. The leg is internally rotating the knee is bending. So now we're getting into the soleus, into that transverse plane as well. So come out, straighten, and go in and bend the knee. More, 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 more. Beautiful. Come back out. So he could do... 8 to 10 with the leg straight, rotating the ankle in and out, and then 8 to 10 starting with the leg out, bending the knee and rotating the ankle in. And that is to stretch both the gastric and the soleus in all three planes of motion. To decrease this or regress this, he could perform this exercise on the floor. Progressing it, he would just do it more dynamically, so moving faster from each movement. That's it. And out and in. Beautiful. And that would increase force to the muscle. And that is the calf stretch on the BOSU.